Hello, everybody. I'm Larry Ridley. You're tuned into the NFL on EA Sports. Anticipation is bouncing for today's game, and we've got two quarterbacks looking to make an impact. It's Jared Goff's Rams going up against Marcus Mariota's Titans. For the call, let's send you out to the broadcast booth where we'll join our commentators, Brandon Guyton and Charles Davis. We welcome all of you to Nissan Stadium on the banks of the Cumberland River in downtown Nashville, Tennessee. The whole of downtown Nashville likely still reverberating with the sounds of the Titans taking the field a moment ago. They're ready for football as their Titans are set to match up with the Los Angeles Rams. Hi again, everybody. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden. And you know, Charles, as Larry pointed out in the open, got a couple of great quarterbacks set to square off here this afternoon. That ball's probably going to be flying all over the place, isn't it? Oh, without a doubt. And the game has never been more quarterback-centric than it is now. And both of these teams have top-flight signal callers. A lot has changed since these two met in Super Bowl 34, and off we go between the Rams and Titans. This is taken about seven yards deep, and no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And now we get set to see Marcus Mariota run the Tennessee Titans offense. Last week, just an ugly game, really, against Arizona. Lost 12 to 7, and that was a big loss for Tennessee. Charles dropped him to 8 and 5. Yeah, the word is that he had a knee injury early in the game, played through it. But bottom line is, as you mentioned, the numbers just don't stack up. Just seven points created for, for Tennessee in their loss to the Arizona Cardinals 12 to 7. Just 204 yards on the day. Two second half interceptions thrown by Mariota, who's thrown a lot of them in recent games. That's not the young man that I saw come out of the University of Oregon, and that's not the quarterback that Tennessee needs now as they try and drive towards the playoffs. Room here to run. A very good move, but for a relatively modest gain out near the 32. Give him six on the play, and that'll bring up second down. Four yards remaining now on second down. Now here's the first carry for DeMarco Murray. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 17 yards on that play for the Titans. That O-line, they cleared a big hole there on that run. The athleticism of offensive lines continues to evolve, and we're seeing it here. Not only are they controlling things right at the line of scrimmage, but they're able to get upfield to get to what we call the second and the third levels. You know, get to linebacker spot, the secondary spot, getting all the way downfield with their blocking, which helps keep the running back clean. They'll try to continue that trend here this afternoon. They go play action here on first down. And this one caught by Delaney Walker. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line. He got 29 yards that time. Probably mean to jump in on you, partner, but they didn't waste any time getting downfield, did they? I mean, a nice big play there. Three plays, three successful plays in plus territory. Now this defense on its heels a bit. It seems like they had something targeted there, doesn't it? It's like, okay, we've got a matchup we like coming right out of the gate. Let's go ahead and get right to it. So after that big play, let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels. Now a play fake here on first down. And some space here. And heavy contact. He is knocked down hard. Give him nine on the play. And it'll be second and about a yard to go for the first. So they're operating in the red zone. Come on, come on, 
Now a second down run for Murray. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. Four yards on the play, and that leads to the first and goal. The running game's played a huge part of getting him down to this point on the field. I say stay with it. Keep pounding the football. Keep driving. Keep grinding. Yeah, even down in the red zone, keep going for it. No doubt about it. Dance with what brought you. Try to run it in with Murray. And he's going to pull his way down to about the one-yard line. It'll be a pickup of eight and a good first step there with second and goal coming up. They're mounting a nice drive here. Good chunk of yardage there again. O-line, they've been solid this drive. They have that look about them right now that says, if you do anything but run the ball behind us, you're crazy. They have really moved it well on this drive, and they want to finish it off the same way. Offense looks to punch it in here. For, and he gets in. Touchdown, Tennessee. Derrick Henry punching it in from a yard away. And the Titans take the ball down the field and score on their opening drive. That's just a solid, methodical drive to start this game. And how about how it culminated? Doing exactly what they wanted to do, getting the ball downfield, and then running it into the end zone. I'm just telling you, partner, when you run it in rather than throw it in, that hurts the defense psychologically a heck of a lot more. Ryan suck up on for the point after. And this is good. Our score, 7-0 Tennessee. So that drives seven plays in length. And Derrick Henry able to finish it off with a touchdown run. Now here's Suck up out to kick it away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And the decision to come out is going to cost him five as he's taken down right at the 20. Last week, pretty high-scoring affair that the Rams were on the wrong side of. 43-35 loss to Philadelphia. And Jared Goff, okay passing the ball, not great. Critical fumble late that ultimately led to their demise. And that's the thing that drives quarterbacks crazy. When they turn it over and it leads to points for the other team, especially the points it led to for Philadelphia, that was the lead that they would not relinquish at that point. So he's going to turn the page, look forward. Big trip to Seattle to take on the Seahawks. First place could be on the line in that game. First down, gone. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. Give him seven on the play, and that'll make it a second down. Now, Charles, what's the mindset here offensively? You gave up the touchdown pretty quickly. Would it have changed if you had gotten a stop and it would be 0-0 right now or no? I wouldn't think so. I think in most cases, just down a touchdown, you know, I mean, we're just getting started here. It should be a long way to go. You think to yourself, stick with the game plan, all the things you worked on in practice. But you have some teams that when they get down, their natural tendency is to aggressively strike back. And let's see if they want to get outside of the game plan we expect and try and be aggressive on their first series. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. I'm not sure that this play was designed for him specifically, but they got through the progressions and got the ball to him. So second catch on the drive. He may not be a primary guy, but they definitely want him involved, don't they? Absolutely. This early, the opening drive, as you said, two catches. So if they can get him going in the passing game, that should open up his running game, too. Ah! 
A play fake to Gurley. Now gone. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 12 more yards there and another first down. Nice little nifty play for him there. Yeah, that's the ability to read a defense and utilize players that don't often get picked up in coverage easily. And I'm talking about being able to use the backs out of the backfield. Because I know that when I used to cover, hey, we got everybody cut. Oh, he just snuck out there, and they just got a nice first down there. What do we love to say? Get those backs into space, right? And they were able to do that there. Nice pickup on first down. Fresh set of downs here. get this down only to about the 46. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. And we introduce you to these starters now, and Tavon Austin, a man who really doesn't need any introduction anymore in this league. He did it all when he's at the University of West Virginia. Played wide receiver, slot, return kicks, even lined up a tailback and ran for over 300 yards. All of those talents will be on display in this game. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. And now here's a carry heading left. And this time the yards won't come so easy as they'll in fact tackle him behind the line. Third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Goff now looking to throw. And they'll set up the screen to Gurley. Five yards on the screen, but that'll take us to fourth down. They dialed up the screen pass on third down, and for a second it looked like it was all going to come together, and they had a chance to pick up a first down, but the defense got there and finished it off. It's Johnny Hecker now, an all-pro three of the last four years on to punt, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. And this is going to be ruled out, I think, just inside the 20. Yes, it will. Side judge calls it at the 19-yard line. The Titan offense now working their way back onto the field. Now they'll be looking to duplicate the efforts of drive number one that resulted in seven points in the seven-zip lead. Well, you know how much I enjoy horse racing, right? Looks like they caught a flyer out of the gate, as they would say when you run in the big-time races. It means they get out to a fast start. They're setting the pace, making the other team chase now. Murray now as they run it to start the drive. And he'll get this one across the 20, but only up to about the 21. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Offensive starters, here they are. And Delaney Walker, Charles, it's a guy that you and I said we wanted to discuss a bit. Yeah, and we should, because remember, he came out of college as a wide receiver. So he's one of the early guys to move from a wide receiver position to tight end and still run routes as if he were a wide receiver. An excellent target. Mariota now on second down. His throw incomplete. The starters on defense here for Los Angeles. I got a kick out of talking last year with Aaron Donald about how when he came out of college, many NFL teams thought he might be undersized to play defensive tackle. 
Instead, he's been a perennial all-pro, Pro Bowl player since day one, and offenses are still searching for ways to block him and keep him from disrupting their offense. The Rams go nickel here defensively on third. Play fake to Henry. Now Mariota. And the Rams got him. They bring him down. Connor Barwin in there to drop him for a six-yard loss. And that'll lead to a fourth down. Well, that play was the very definition of fast, quick, and in a hurry. Suddenly, he was there. In a blink of an eye, that happened fast and a big sack. In his 10th year, here's Brett Kern to punt this one as he's on to punt for the first time this afternoon. Fielded just inside the 30. Boom! Still fighting through tackles. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards. Well struck. And the Rams will go on offense here with the first and 10. So now here are the Rams as their offense comes back out. The last couple of drives have ended in punts. Maybe the crowd minds that, but you're a defensive guy. You're okay with a couple of punt drives. Listen, I'm the guy that loves a 0-0 pitch game. All right, in baseball, I can handle that going into the seventh inning. I think the crowd, though, they want to see a little bit more excitement. Let's see if someone can break something free on offense and get going. Offense at a premium the last two drives. Now the first carry here for Todd Gurley. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. If these kinds of lanes are available, you have to feel like he's going to have a pretty big game on the ground. Yeah, you can tell early on he's got a little burst in his step, and that's a big pickup right there on first down. Second down following the run. Now it's Goff off the bootleg. And the open receiver, it's Robert Woods. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. Goff hitting Woods for a Rams first. As if he didn't have enough to think about on that route, the comeback route, coming back to the football and catching it, decided to make sure he toe-tapped and kept himself in balance. And that was spectacular, but on the comeback route, maybe a little easier to deal with the sideline since you, you've got better vision of it. I think that's a great point because you should know exactly where you're going and know how much space you have and make sure you get your feet down. But yeah, coming back to the football, I like it. Good vision. Now a first down throw. Go. Looking right side, and that's complete to Watkins. And he takes it down deep into enemy territory. A gain of 39 that time. Just the first quarter, but tackling going to be so important going forward. They've got to limit plays like that. And that's something when you see it happen early in the game and they don't get him on the ground, you can always tell that they were concerned about it going in. Because I can just tell you from my days, I remember being in college and worrying all offseason about our season open opponent and they had a receiver that could shake and bake with the best of them. I tackled him on the first pass of the game, and the relief was incredible. Ended up having a pretty decent ball game. But if I had missed him, it <laughs> would, would have been, been a, different a story. long night. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. They'll try and push it in with Gurley. And he'll actually lose a little bit of yardage here. Back to the two. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. I think there's one element that just keeps increasing on defense in the NFL, and that's speed. They want it at every position, and we just saw there some linebackers that can go sideline to sideline, run past that trash, go past people, and make tackles near the sidelines. And not only near the sideline, but also in the backfield there for the loss. On 
second down, they'll try and run the counter. And he'll go backwards, losing yardage to the five. So he loses three yards there. Now third down. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease, anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. They've been stuffed twice here for losses. Now it's third and goal. One receiver right is Watkins. Now Goff on third and goal. Oh, it's a touchdown if he holds on. Instead, it's fourth down. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. He came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. So on fourth down, Goff will yield to Greg Zerline for the field goal try. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. And Zerline's kick is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. to three. So give them three there. A good drive gets them inside the five, but they couldn't punch it in. And credit this defense, too. That was the old bend-but-don't-break approach. But it kept the offense out of the end zone. After the made field goal, Zerline back out there now to send this one away. Fielded about a yard deep. <laughs> and he'll take this across the 25. A couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. Here's the Titan offense now as they make their way back onto the field. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means they're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. They begin the drive with a run by Murray. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. First down, Titans gain of 12. Getting the sense, Charles, are going to put a big emphasis this afternoon on the run game. And why not? What we're seeing so far, working pretty well from them. And here's the best part. We always talk about the best performers do their job when the lights come on. I think he likes natural light best. So the run gets them the first, and now they operate with a fresh set of downs. A play fake to Murray. Now Mariota. And down he goes on the pressure from the Rams defense. Connor Barwin in there to pick up his second sack now of the afternoon. Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust and account for that? But what you're hoping is that you figure out and you see and get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you, and you change the blocking schemes. Maybe you go to max protection. The biggest one is maybe you bring your running back in to try and keep you clean. But in that case, that didn't happen. Zero accountability, and a sack resulted. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we've hit the end of quarter one. 7-3 the score. We're back to Nashville right after this. The NFL on EA Sports is presented by Snickers. You're not you when you're hungry. Snickers satisfies. With the former volunteer Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden. It's the Titans with the football here to begin quarter number two. They do, however, have a tough third and long coming up. Oh 
And the defense searches for one more stop here after the run on second down. Off play action to Henry. Here's Mariota. And he's going to be out of bounds, but able to take it inside the 40-yard line. A really good pickup of 28 yards. And that's how you pick up a first down. Not only does he make the catch, but has enough body control to get his feet down inbounds, toe-tapping and dragging to make sure he gets it done. now Mariota uncorks one for Davis so they took a shot on first down but couldn't connect but depending on the team they call that an explosive play or a chunk play the one that they got on the previous one they tried to go back and get another one didn't they they did but unsuccessful on that second attempt unable to connect on the first down pass play now it's second down Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? Neutral zone infraction, defense. They'll step off the five yards. Yeah, partner, you know. Defensive end, he wants to get into the offensive backfield. He wants that get off to be as fast as possible. A little too quick on that one. So we've got a second and five. Following the penalty, it's Murray. And a short gain down to about the 33. It'll be a pickup of only a yard, and they're going to have a third down. Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things, but the defensive guys... Hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blows. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. Mariota. Caught right side, Davis. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. If you're a selfish player and you're throwing the ball, you're cool with the completion. Maybe not so cool with the yardage loss, though, huh? Yeah, you went you went backwards on the yardage. Hey, it kind of works like a sack for the defense there. Yeah, it's a really big play for them, right? Able to figure it out, sniff it out, and finish it off. And this one will not get there. It's off to the left anyway. It's no good, and this score will stay right where it is. Well, this winds up an empty possession. Everything looked okay. He just never got the ball on target. And knowing him, he'll be disappointed with that effort. Now the Rams offense, they work their way back on the field. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three and, points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. All right, try the 50-yarder and miss it. And now this offense has it first and 10 at the 40. They'll start out on the ground with Gurley. And he'll push his way up to about the 44 here. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean or else they'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. To throw on second down is gone. To the sideline, and wow, what a catch there. 
He doesn't get a lot, but he was able to get the feet down complete. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. From the gun on third down, golf. He'll throw underneath for Gurley. And able to pick up the first across midfield to the 47. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. Play action with Gurley. Now gone. And he's got his big tight end over the middle, complete. And he's going to get this inside the 30. 17 yards on the pickup there. The drive will continue. It's a first down. There are so many things to watch for when you play defense. And reading your keys, you always hear about that, and having your eyes in the right place. Sometimes your eyes can fool you. How about that play action there? And it sprang the big guy, didn't it? Able to dump it over the top to him. Now a handoff looking right. And now running right through it. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? This is second and 13. Really good defensive effort. They were all over that little swing pass out to the right side before loss yarded. Terrific read, better execution, and done with a lot of enthusiasm, wasn't it? Yeah, absolutely. They saw it all the way, ran to the football, and caused a nice play for lost yardage. Goff now on second down. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. Sammy Watkins, the intended target, and it's third down. We always talk about receivers. If the ball hits your hand, you're supposed to haul it in, but it is hard to adjust to a pass throwing a little bit behind you. That one was all the momentum going forward. Couldn't contort his body back to grab it. The Rams on third down, just one for three thus far. This is going to be third and 13. Now whistles and a flag down. I think one of the Rams linemen might have moved. And that'll be accepted, of course, and that moves him back five. The Rams on third down, just one for three thus far. This will be a tough third and 18. Golf. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. They do get 10 back, but still a ways to go on fourth. 
when you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield, a really nice pickup. And Zerline's kick is good. And they'll get it back within a point at 7-6. to six. So they were able to move the ball into the red zone, but they'll wind up coming away with just three. Yeah, 32-yarder. That's equal to an extra point nowadays. And those are no problem for an NFL kicker. After the made field goal, Zerline back out there now to send this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have stayed where he was as he'll only get back to the 16-yard line. Derrick Henry trots back out there and gets ready to go. A good job in the passing game, decent job in the running game, but really they've been more effective uh, through the air. We'll see if that shifts at all as this goes on. Thus far, it feels like they're calling this game in reverse. Normally you run to set up the pass. Here it feels like they're passing, hoping to set up the run and be more effective later on in the game. Yeah, you can do it both ways. We usually talk about it in the reverse, however. No doubt about it. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. Mariota now to throw on first down. That one finds the rookie tight end, Janu Smith. And he'll go down just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Seeing that play and understanding just how tough it is to cover tight ends, especially the ones running around the NFL nowadays, makes me glad I didn't make it in that league. I would have had a really difficult time. But now you get to sit up here with me. Yeah, and that's fun, isn't it? And <laughs> what a really nice game right there on first down for them. Brings up a nice second down for them. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play. And all of a sudden here, it's third down. We all have habits. We can be somewhat predictable. And you know me pretty well on second down and short. What I like to see. Play action. Yeah, without a doubt. I thought that was a great spot to call it. Instead, didn't go their way, did it? No, defense sold out for the run. Worked out well. Third and short yardage. Mariota. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. And he's got the first as they'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. We always talk about having to read defenses and how complicated that is. Well, this was an excellent read. Read the pressure and got rid of the football before it even got to him for a nice game. And when they're blitzing like that, running back usually a good spot to go with a football? Without a doubt, because he's right in your sight line or he's near you. So you're able to just get it to him easily. And once he gets in space, that's usually a good matchup for him. Off the play fake, Mariota. And Davis went at left side. A very solid gain of 27. And boy, they had high praise for this rookie receiver when we asked the coaches about him, didn't they? They certainly did, and obviously they liked his measurables, otherwise they wouldn't have brought him on to the team. Height, weight, speed, all of that. But how about what they really said? Competitiveness. That's what they really liked about him. The way he goes after the football, competes for it, and decides when it's in the air, it's his and only his. his way forward here for a good little game. Yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. 
Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun, then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Again, it's Murray. Two yards the gain there, and now they're left with a third and about four for a first. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again. Go play action, hit them over the top. The Titans on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and four. From the gun, Mariota. And this is caught, but I don't think he stayed in bounds. No, he didn't. It's incomplete. The throw took him past the boundary, and it's fourth. A third down, he tried to stay in bounds, did all he could. He caught it, but was led a little bit too far. Yeah, and that's always difficult, isn't it? Because you know half of your body is trying to stay behind while the other half is reaching out, trying to catch the football. The top half worked. It was the bottom half that was in question. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. This one angles out of bounds in a good spot in the coffin corner. And they're going to mark this out of the five-yard line. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. He's just been looking for some space. You know, I'm not going to pin it on him or the offensive line, but they need to get this run game going better. Sometimes you just have to credit the defense. They came in with a plan themselves. So I think now you try and mix things up a little bit. Get the ball in the hands of some other people. Find some other playmakers. But always let the defense believe that he's still a threat. I was going to say, don't forget about it. No, him. don't take him totally out of the game. They go play action here on first down. He's going to float this one deep right side. And it drops down incomplete. Thought he might have had it. Instead, second down. The one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown him a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after him. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. Ten yards still left on second down. Goff turns and gives to Gurley. And he's going to take this up past the 10 to about the 11. They get six here after the incompletion, and it'll leave them with a third and four. Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one? Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. The Rams on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and four. On the draw, Goff gives to Gurley. And he's going to get the first down here as he's taken down at the 22. Give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. I think if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. Two minutes remain here in the first half. Back to Tennessee after this. We're just two minutes away from sending you to Orlando for Larry Ridley in our EA Sports Halftime Report, so don't forget about that coming up shortly. Yeah, it wouldn't be a halftime without him, and we thank him for doing the highlights. Let's go get a snack. Offense comes to the line now, first and ten. Uh, 
To throw is gone. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And down he'll go at the 25. That throw good for four. It's second down. On second down, here's Goff. And he's got some space here. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Goff on first down. And nearly picked off there, almost intercepted. Instead, second down. Well, let's step aside from this game for a second and look at the NFC playoff picture right now. You've got the Eagles at 11 and 2, the Vikings at 10 and 3, and after that, you got three 9 and 4 teams, Charles, all vying for that third spot. Yeah, the Los Angeles Rams leading the NFC West, but the story to me is it is the NFC South mm -hmm. because right now, if the season ends, you've got three teams from the <laughs> South in the playoffs: New Orleans, Carolina, and Atlanta. So things are volatile in that division, but all three legitimate contenders. It's going to be a fun last three weeks, especially in that division. Certainly, because they're all going to play each other over that time. That catch good for five. It's third down. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. From the gun, here's gone. Dumps it off to Gurley. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. And the Titans going to signal for a timeout defensively. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. So the defense had a chance to catch their breath, and now they're back out and ready. Here's Johnny Hacker now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. Well, this is going to carry well into the end zone for a touchback. seconds remaining in half number one. So the offensive unit called the T.O. And now we are ready to resume play. So here we go, first and 10 now. From the shotgun, it's Mariota. He couldn't quite hold it, got hit. Ball pops out, incomplete. Well, that pass hitting the ground means time to shift gears for a second. Look at the AFC West. The Chiefs and the Chargers playing Saturday night in what could be ultimately a division championship game. And boy, things have really changed, though, haven't they? Because we thought that at one point the Chiefs were running away with this division. They came back to the pack. The Chargers came forward. And as you mentioned, now we're down to potentially a one-game showdown <laughs> to decide who's going to go to the playoffs and what a showdown that's going to be. Alex Smith for the Chiefs, Phillip Rivers for the Chargers. Let's get it on. Stop shy of the 45. Showed off a nice little move on the play, though. 
They'll give him eight on the play, and that's going to bring up a third down. The Titans on third down, two for five to this point. This time they face a third and two. Working out of the gun, Mariota incomplete. And we're down to eight seconds now. Perhaps they overthought this one a little bit. They've been running it real well on this drive, and it was third and short, okay? They decided to throw the football incomplete. Yeah, they might have thought just a little bit too hard about that play selection. Here's Brett Kern now as he's on to punt for Tennessee. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And that'll hit in the end zone. Much too much leg there. That'll be a touchback. Time running short here. They'll simply take a knee, and that should do it for half number one. So we've reached halftime here in Nashville, the Music City, with the Titans out in front, as we'll send you down to Orlando as we check in with Larry Ridley and our EA Sports Halftime Report. Larry? Thanks, Brandon, and welcome to our EA Halftime Report. I'm Larry Ridley. The Titans are happy to be in front right now and just want to play two more solid quarters. The Rams won't panic either. They know they just need to take it one play at a time. So let's take a look at some of the highlights from the first half. Titans open up on offense. Henry is going to take it up the middle. He caps off the seventh play drive with the score. Titans strike first in this one. Titans on offense. First quarter winding down. Harwin's going to push his way to the QB here. This ends up as a loss of nine. We're set up for a great second half, so let's get you out to it. Here's Brandon Guyton. So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And the Rams getting set to go now. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors. But overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up, and we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. Now golf on first down. Over the middle, that's hauled in by Cup. And look out, a big hit to the shoulder pads took him right off his feet. Give him nine there on the first down completion. 
And just a small glimpse there as to why they like this rookie so much. And that's why they lit up a little bit in our meetings with the coaching staff. Didn't yeah, they? when we talked about him, they did. Yeah, yeah, you know, they like his work ethic. You know, this guy's running every route well in the route tree and getting better at it all the time, really honing his game. They expect a pretty good jump out of him as things continue to move on. A play fake to Gurley, now gone. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Avery Williamson not dropping into coverage. He comes on the blitz and takes him down for a loss of nine. Now we talk about players blitzing all the time. I often laugh and sometimes call it just straight ahead pursuit. What a running start right back to the backfield for him. Yeah, he really didn't give anybody a chance to get up there and stop him. No, I mean, that's really, really difficult. You're asking a whole lot anyway, but when he gets that kind of a start and comes through clean, oftentimes the advantage definitely goes to the defensive player. So Goff, he'll try to refocus after the sack. The Rams now set up with a tough one, a third and long. Goff now looks to throw, and they'll set up the screen to Gurley. And the spin looked pretty, but more for style points as the real estate evaporated quickly there. Well contained there defensively. The screen gets only a yard, and it's fourth. I wonder what was going through his mind when he got the play call. He just got sacked on the previous play. He knows they're coming after him again. A little bit of guts to stand in there, take the hit, and successfully complete the screen pass. Really well done. Here's Johnny Hacker now as he's on to punt for L.A. Well, that'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt, and it'll be Titan football. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. They have the lead here. Well, we talk a lot about pregame speeches. What are halftime speeches like? For the most part, not nearly as emotional. They're a lot more clinical. Every now and then, though, they'll get after you if they think they need to light a fire. But in this case, let's go into the virtual locker room because here's what I think happened. They got in there and they said, listen, Let's take control right away. Yeah, Defense, we've got, yeah. we got, de we got, the, got the lead. Defense, don't give up any points. Turn the ball back over to the offense and let them go down and score and give us more of a cushion in the game. Check so far. Defense shut him down. Let's see if the offense gets done. And he takes this one just shy of midfield all the way to the 49. He got 29 yards that time. So the defense blitzed. A nice job picking that up, completing the pass. And how in sync was the quarterback in his center on that play? They saw the blitz, made the appropriate calls, got the line engaged because now they know there are going to be extra guys coming at the quarterback. So they got their assignments down pat and kept them away from him. And he's able to step up in the pocket and fire one now for a really good strike. A handoff. It's Murray. Takes to midfield, but no further. Just a yard there. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, hard to get them started again occasionally. See if they stay on the ground for second down. Mariota now from the 50. And they're going to get him. He's taken down for a sack back at the 47-yard line. The game plan for any defense is finding ways to make a quarterback uncomfortable in the pocket. When you bring pressure from all angles, you never know who's going to get home. In this case, the left cornerback right in the face of him puts him down. Mariota will need a big play after the sack as the Titans come up third and long. 
Mariota. Oh, he's got a little daylight. 13 yards is the pickup for Tennessee and a first down. Jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. Now a give. This is Murray. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. They're trying to show that they can run the ball, protect this lead, give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. Six yards here to go for the offense on second down. They go with Murray again. And he'll get this down to about the 30, 31 yard line. Still a couple yards short of the first as the three yard game brings up a third down. The Titans on third down, three for seven so far in this game. Here it's third and two. They'll run here, it's Murray. And he'll lose yardage, brought down at the 32. Losing two yards that time, and now it's fourth down. They tried to run right to the teeth of the defense on third down, but... Um... Looked like those teeth were pretty sharp. <laughs> <laughs> they were having absolutely none of it stuffed them for a loss. Yeah, couldn't get any leverage up front and move people aside in order to run the ball. Here's Ryan Suckup for the Titan field goal. This is a 49-yard attempt. Right hash. And this will split the uprights. It's right down the middle. And they bump the lead up to four now at 10-6. So he missed a field goal earlier, but he says not this time. And he's able to knock it through to give his guys three. And that's all you want as a kicker, a chance to redeem yourself. You got to have a short memory if you're going to survive at this level. And he's able to get back on track. Suckup now set to kick it off following the main field goal. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll wind up about four yards shy of where he would have been if he'd taken a knee as they'll start at the 21-yard line. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. Now a first down throw, gone. And he goes out of bounds across the 40-yard line. And a nice gain of 21 yards. When I watched Jared Goff on tape at Cal, I saw a guy who wasn't just a dart thrower. You know, a lot of people said, ah, oh, he's perfect for the West Coast offense. I always thought he could do a little bit more, and that was the reason why. He can push it downfield. He has a good, strong arm.
So here, the men in charge are going to be looking at whether or not the receiver had possession of the ball as he went out of bounds. And they have to make sure that the receiver got both feet down in bounds as well. and the timeout over and all 11 men back out onto the field for the defense. So the offense has it first and 10. Now Goff will hand this one to Gurley. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. It's real easy to say this running game needs to be better, but the reality is they've been given little time to actually find a place to run the football. It's almost like the defense is there on the handoff. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. To throw on second down is gone. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield across the 45. 17 yards on the pickup there, and the drive will continue. If you're running out route, it's likely you're going to end up near the sideline. And what did we just see there? Toe tap. You got it. The benefits of practice. Toe tapping, foot dragging, picking it up and making sure it was a catch. Now a play fake here on first down. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice game there. This one goes for 20. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. And now a first down following that long gain. Now a handoff for Gurley. And they'll get him down right about the 20. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter. No time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. the gun. Gone. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. Cooper Cup was his intended target, and it's third down. A pretty good coverage there in both of these defenses. They've had good coverage throughout this one. No doubt about it, and in today's NFL, where we're used to a bit more scoring, this feels almost like a well-pitched game in baseball on both sides, where the tension continues to build. Who's going to make the big play? Throwing on third. Gone. And that's caught left side. It's Woods. And he gets the first down yardage before he's brought down just outside the 10 at the 11. Well, they've had a great, impressive drive going here, and that pickup ensures the drive continues. And not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defense side of the ball right now, but you make your own defense happy. They're able to get a little more rest over on the sidelines while this one continues downfield. First down, gone. Yeah. 
And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. Give him eight on the play, and that'll make this a second down. Second down. And this is caught. He's got it. Touchdown, L.A. Well, they had their chances in the first half, you remember, but had to settle for two field goals. This time, they come away with six. I think they actually got affirmation about what they were doing by getting a touchdown because the field goals means they got in range but couldn't quite finish it off. This time, they broke through, and that's great for the old confidence. And on the sideline, difference of a feeling between three and six, is it astronomical or it, no? It, it, it can be at times, that's for sure. A lot of times, the field goal feels like a disappointment. The touchdown, well, that tells you you're getting it done. Greg Zerline on for the extra point. And this one's right there, and that pushes the lead to 13-10. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And the result for the Rams, a touchdown. Zerline out now to kick this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And right now we spotlight DeMarco Murray. And there are the numbers. Got off to that torrid hot start. We thought he was in for maybe a career day. Not the case. No doubt about it. It almost looks like a misprint after what we saw in the first half. But let's give a little bit of credit to the guys on our side of the ball. They went into halftime, made a few adjustments. And you know what else? They didn't lose their confidence in how their ability to play. Because a lot of times you get beat down in the first half, it gets ugly in the second half. They've come out with a new resolve and a renewed determination. Mariota now to throw on first down. And Walker with it over the middle. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. That was good for a pickup of 15 for Tennessee. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on catching the ball and not much run after the catch. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. Here's Murray. And he's going to bowl his way forward to the 48. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him, so when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. Just two yards to go here on second down for the offense. Here's Mariota. 
And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Call it a one-yard gain on the play. And that is going to set up a third and one. The Titans on third down. They've converted three times and eight chances. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. Carries piling up. It's Murray again. And he's got the first down yardage there as he takes it just across midfield. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive going. I like his focus there because he wasn't thinking about breaking that one big. All he thought about was, I need one. Let's go get that. Ended up picking up two. It's lining up first and ten. A play fake to Murray. Now Mariota. And some room to maneuver. It comes and he lost the football. Mariota had it jarred loose. And the Rams have got it back. The psychology of the game never ceases to amaze me because you would think there would never be a fumble from what we hear from coaches all the time, right? And how much they practice not fumbling. Practice it, preach it, talk about it all the time. You would think no one would ever turn it over. Yet they are humans out there running around. And we just saw another one. Opportunistic by the defense. Jared Goff and the Rams headed back onto the field. How do you break down his game so far? Just the one touchdown pass, but sometimes the touchdown pass stat category, that doesn't tell the whole story. It really doesn't. Not until you balance it with the error side. You know, and in this case, he hasn't thrown any interceptions. So a lot of people would call this almost a pedestrian game, kind of a bus driver game. But that's just really wrong. Being a bus driver is a good thing if you're running a football team because that means you're in control and you're taking your team to the right places. Yeah, he's been pretty solid. Back to throw, gone. This is complete to Watkins on the slant. And he's brought down. It's a pickup of 16 there and it'll lead to a new set of downs. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. Fresh set of downs here. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. But we'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Nashville. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. Defense comes to the line now, first and ten. On the handoff, it's Gurley. And he'll take it down to the 30-yard line. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. Well, that's a pretty good drive starter right there. And I don't know, partner, if you're even thinking about sitting on the ball right now. They may just want to run their regular offense. In plus territory. And, and as an offensive coordinator, you don't want your team to go into a shell, do you? No, you really don't. Because as soon as you take your foot off the gas, it's real hard to put it back on and mash it. Because once everyone's emotions come down, hard to start them up again. So I think you may want to keep them cranking high right here. Again, they run with Gurley. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that'll make it third down. Now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring up a key third down. 
But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now to stop them, get to the ball. That means they might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. Highlight that word. Put it in bold. Here we go. The Rams on third down. They've converted three times and eight chances. This time it's third and three. They'll try and pick up the first with Gurley. And he's got the first as they'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. Hasn't been his best afternoon on the ground, far from it, but a critical third down conversion. This afternoon just got better. All right, you're exactly right. Hasn't been his best in terms of yardage, but that run there, that's the one your teammates look to you and go, okay, that's what we want from me. That's what we need. Now they have a chance to keep moving forward and a chance to win the game. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. They go play action here on first down. And he's going to go down. They get to him back at the 40. Well, they go play fake. The problem is nobody was faked out. <laughs> and when no one's faked out, what's the end result? Quarterback gets hit. <laughs> Second down, this is Gurley. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. And they'll lose a yard that time, and that's going to lead to a third down. And this is why the head coach gets paid the big bucks. Look at where they are in this situation, partner. Do you throw the ball here in a long-distance situation? Do you run it again and trust your defense and make sure you take care of the ball and punt it away? What kind of options do you have here? And what do you trust more on your team? Yeah, they may have just pushed him back into that throwing situation. We'll see. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. A shotgun snap for golf. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Woods. An incredible play there. They do get big yardage, but they're still stopped the yard or two short, and it's fourth down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. And Zerline's kick is good. And that extends their advantage to six. It's 16 to 10. So they get the three here, but you wonder whether that's going to be enough. Yeah, I mean, you've now made it so they need a touchdown rather than a field goal to catch them. But you're right. If they'd gotten six out of that drive, this would be a much different game. After the main field goal, Zerline back out there now to send this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And he's able to get it across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down at the 21-yard line. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. And last time, the turnover on the fumble, and they were in enemy territory, so that had to be very frustrating. Down on the scoreboard here, can't do it again. You nailed every part of what was frustrating. <laughs> Down on the scoreboard, had a drive going, and pushed it past the 50-yard line, so they felt like they were in striking distance. And to come away with nothing, not a good feeling at all, to put it mildly. Now they can't afford to do that again. Yeah, now can they get that bad taste out of their mouth here? Up, 
On first and ten, here's Mariota. And some room to work. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. It's a gain of nine yards. And that'll make it second and short. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. They run with Murray. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old-school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. So up through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. So they pick up the first down after the run, and now they approach for the fresh set. Off the play fake, Mariota. He sets to fire deep and nearly picked off there, and it would have been a great time for their first pick. Instead, it's second down. I guess they're in a situation now, fourth quarter, where they're forced to take some chances, but I don't know that that was the type of a chance you want to take. And that one could very easily have been intercepted, and if it does get picked off, that could possibly seal this one. Offense still needing 10 yards, second down. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. Encroachment, defense. A little antsy on the left side of the line. Yeah, I think they got the guy in the end. I think they got the DN there on that one. And let's face it, he is so amped up. Wanting to get a good get off on the snap. Jump too quickly. So second and medium, second and five now. From the gun, Mariota. And some strong running, and the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out punishment, but here, he's the one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, unable to hold on to the football. The Titans on third down, not quite 50%, four for nine. This will be third and five. To throw Mariota. They set up the screen for Henry. He gets seven out of it, and he also gets a first. Let's give a little credit there. The offensive play caller sense that the screen pass was available. Whenever you're getting a lot of heavy pressure towards your quarterback, that's when you're thinking about running the screen and using that pressure against the defense. And it worked very well there for a first down. is the pickup for Tennessee and a first down. And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result every time. So here we go, first and 10 now. Now we've got movement up front. I think this is going to be on the Titans. 
false start offense. And that'll set him back five. The penalty on first down backs him up five. It's now first down at 15. Again, it's Mariota. 20! Over the middle to Smith. And he's going to be taken down, but not before reaching the 15-yard line. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Partner, it's a lot of fun watching the NFL now, isn't it? Because when the big fella runs routes, it used to be when we were kids, he'd run about three different routes, and that was it. Now he can run anything and catch the ball, as we just saw there. So after that big gain, let's see what else the offense has up its sleeve. They'll run the counter with Murray. And he goes backwards here, losing yardage back to the 16. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Every year I go to the combine and marvel at the speeds that linebackers are running nowadays. They run like DBs. And let's face it, they know how to finish plays, too. Eyes up, head up, run right through them. Second down, Mariota. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Corey Davis, the intended receiver. And it'll bring up third down. I'm going to need some help with this one. How did he miss him? Wide open in the end zone. He's not hurried. He's not hit. And somehow, incomplete? Yeah. What happened? During film study, that's one where he's just going to shake his head, not be able to believe it. Six points go by the wayside on that one. Now we've got movement up front. I think this is going to be on the Titans. False start. Offense. That's going to set him back five yards. The Titans on third down. They've hit on half of them, five for ten. This is third and 16. After the penalty, it's Henry. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. Give him nine on the carry, but it's not enough. And it'll be fourth down. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And that is incomplete. The Titans try it, but ultimately they fail on fourth down. And the Rams are going to take possession of the turnover on downs. So the defense has to stay out and get one more stop. They were able to do it, forcing the incompletion. So on their record, that goes down as a successful play. Doesn't matter how they got there, how it happened. They got it done. They're the ones that are jubilant. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. They'll try and start the drive with Gurley. And he's going to be taken down right at about the 15-yard line. A gain of three, second down. 
A tight game like this, such a tough spot for the offense to be in, even though they have the lead, Charles, back up so close to their goal line. they got to protect the football. And that's when you have to take care of your team with play calling as well. Not a lot of misdirection, not a lot of counters, not a lot of plays where you have extra ball handling. Get it right to the hands of your running back. Tell them to take care of the ball and try to move forward. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. When defenses get to the quarterback that quickly, a lot of times it's called a jailbreak. It wasn't quite that fast, but fast enough that he had no time to look downfield and set himself to throw the ball. And as he tried to do that, he was hit and it forced an incompletion. Third down, they'll run it with Gurley. And this time he's going backwards. So after the no gain on the last attempt, here they get him behind the line. Well, forget about finding a lane there. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. Probably fortunate he's able to hold on to the football. Here's Johnny Hacker now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. Here's Jackson. And that's going to go in the books as a 55-yard punt. Well done. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. They had a great drive going last time. They were moving the ball, and then all of a sudden it just stalled out. So we'll see what they can do here, Charles. And it's always easy to second guess when you don't get it on a fourth down try. But they had to like the feeling that they had going on offense. They want to continue to see if they can capture that again on this drive and maybe get in the same position. Yeah, and that's, I mean, like I said, they were moving the football. It's not like they went four and out, so I don't think it's a deal where the offense doesn't have confidence. No, I agree with you totally on that one. If, that, if anything, they may have gained more confidence. Okay, they stopped us once. That's all right. Let's keep moving it. Make them do it again. And he's going to be out of bounds, but able to take it inside the 40-yard line. That one goes for 24 yards. I know they don't like to hear it when they get to a certain age, but then you have to start to use your, your skills, your wiles, right, your mind to beat guys to the football. And getting your toes tapped in bounds definitely qualifies as that, doesn't and it? The veteran showing he still has the agility. So the offense has it first and 10. Working out of the gun, Mariota. Right side, there's Decker. The Titans efficient passing on this drive. There's another first down. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. The slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. down and 10 now for the offensive group. From the shotgun, it's Mariota. And some room to run now. Open space inside the 10. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. And now inside the red zone, the offense will operate. 
And now whistles here and a flag down. Looked like someone got going a little early. False start offense. So that'll back him up five. First and goal, defense with their backs against the wall. They'll try the right side with Murray. And this play goes nowhere, losing yardage back to the 15. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Oh, partner, that play brought back memories. Watching them string it out. Letting the runner get all the way to the sideline area, but not letting him get out of bounds. They formed that picket fence and didn't allow him through. Not only that, got him for a loss as well here. And one of the reasons they lead in the fourth quarter, plays like that. Yeah, took a little more time off the clock, making him do it that way, didn't they? And, of course, the quarterback in this situation, he's realizing time is becoming a factor. Let's see if they can get some points on the board here late. Now a second down throw for Mariota, and it's incomplete. Corey Davis, the intended receiver, and now it's third down. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Now Mariota. That is caught at the seven-yard line. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. A terrific job there to keep him out of the end zone. And now it'll be fourth and goal. Time for a break. We'll come back for the electrifying conclusion after this. So the Titans in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They come up on the play of the game now. Fourth and goal. Likely the play of the game here. Trailing in the final quarter and going for it on fourth and goal. Oh, and now movement and a whistle, and they may have to rethink their plans on fourth down. Now, fourth and short, had your offense out there. That one stings. And you know something? Your options change dramatically. Not only is it tougher to go for it, but what if you decided just to line up and try and draw them off sides? If you did it on fourth and short, you could pick up the cheap first down. Now you still won't get a first down, even if you do exactly the same thing. Likely the play of the game here, trailing in the final quarter and going for it on fourth and goal. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. Fighting for the pylon, but he will not get there. They mark him short of the goal line. They get the completion, but cannot push forward into the end zone. And that will force a turnover on downs. So now let's reset here, Charles. They do have two timeouts left, so they can stop the clock twice. This one's not quite over yet. No, and what you're doing on defense, you're going to use both timeouts, obviously. But you've got to call defenses are going to force the issue early, meaning you want that play over fast. You don't want to give them time to dance around in the backfield or run a wide sweep that'll take off time. Blitz them, put pressure on them, make sure that play ends quickly so that you can go ahead and keep moving. And tough starting field position here. On first down, it's Gurley. And space opened up a bit. He's able to take this up past the 10. And now with 1.52 to go, we get another pause in the action. A timeout here defensively.
And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. Another carry now for Gurley. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 15. And play is stopped here. Timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. So a defensive timeout, chance to regather, regroup, and get set as we resume action. to the workhorse today. It's Gurley looking for a crease. Can't find one. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. Second down. Short gain, short gain last two plays. Who do you think's excited about that? Absolutely. This defense, they're saying go right ahead with those. Play clock is going to run out here. They're in no hurry to get a playoff. Delayed game, offense. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. Still second down. some room for him there as he'll take this up to about the 15. Five yards will get him back to the original line of scrimmage, but now they're looking at third and ten. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week. <laughs> Maybe flashback to high school or college, carrying it around campus, right? The old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. Here's Johnny Hacker now. And you wonder, could they possibly think about taking a safety here? A road win in the National Football League. Charles, you never take that for granted, no matter who you're playing, no matter where you're playing. You take it and you run with it. <laughs> and you know you primed the pump all week in your own home facility. No one thinks we can do this. Only people who believe are right here in this room. And then you go on the road, band together, and get it done. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. With that, we sign off from Nashville.